So explain to me again what, what it was doing. Uh, it would just, if I have it at 70 uh -huh. and the temp was at 63, it would run for a while. It would cycle itself down. And it would uh, start up again a couple minutes later. So it would reach temp. So it would almost like roll itself over, you know, like start and stop. So it would never reach temp, correct? It, it would eventually, but it wouldn't just go like continuously burn until it got to temp. It would like stop, cycle down, Mid turn itself through. back on until uh, it got up to temp. So a short cycling. Then when, how, so you said you replaced the filter how long? Three weeks ago? Oh, the filter? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was only like a couple weeks ago probably. Okay, so, and it, it has it been doing that? after that or has it been doing that because i know we just started getting cold yeah when did we when did we notice we was having issues um like i said as when we started it even when we started out to bring the house to temp it would roll but i didn't think it was too much of an issue but then we started getting it where i guess this is not turned itself on and we had to reset the thermometer that i guess that happened Yesterday, I was told, and then I found out about it today. Okay.
up now. lead out and put a you can either hold it or you can put the you put the other one up put it in there and you put the other one on there and wait until it plays back up again right here no it's not a bore issue it's um something else going on it's one of the the fun intermediate only happens once in a while type thing i mean if it's nothing to be too concerned about then just add... well it's if it's not bringing it i mean if you set your thermostat at 70 it should run until it reaches 70 so obviously we have an issue going on it's just a matter of trying to find that issue okay. i mean and can we check this at all like check it what are you going to check for well, that the screw was loose right? that has nothing to do with okay, anything well, I was just wondering. yeah that has nothing to do with anything um so let me pull this off. Oops. Let's see here. Let me get some kind of key in here. So let's. flashes one two three four four flashes now we're getting somewhere four flashes limit or roll out switch open oh there it goes so most likely most likely it went off on high limits which uh, let me just pull this thing let me stop this so either the blower is not running fast enough or that secondary heat exchanger is dirty um all the dampers are open looks like when all the registers, there's air blown out of all the registers upstairs that you know of? Uh, yeah, we only have three really registers that are blown out. Oh, okay. A couple of them are just cool uh, intake. Okay, put all this stuff up. Okay.
Okay, so that's good. Crappy. Okay, so it's pretty breezy in the winter time. Uh, yeah. Three, three upstairs, two, downstairs, sure. one. Oh, well, I think I just found out what the problem is. Maybe. So the blower is not blowing where it needs to be. Um, it looks like this blower fell out of the, yeah, this is what's going on. The blower fell out of the, the ribs. So I'm going to have to reset that blower. That explains why it's overheating. Yeah, that's right. It's going off on high limit. So, uh, drill. Huh? Is that a pretty awesome thing? Yeah. So, does somebody replace the blower at all, or a while back, or? I'm trying to think if I did have the blower. I knew I had somebody come out last year, and I can't remember if it was for the blower or not. I don't think it was, though. I thought it was for the limit switch. Okay, well, this, I'm going to have to take all this condensation off. Okay, so, yeah, that's, I believe that's what's going on. That way you can pull it out and kind of look at that secondary, too, to see, um, where is the, you know, let me see. Yep. Struggle is real.
as you've seen on that call, that was, uh, did a lot of tests, checked things out. And as soon as I realized it went off on limit, I said, okay, something's going on here. I thought maybe the secondary is plugged, but then when I looked down in there, that's when I noticed that the blower was not in where it should have been. So, you know what to do. If you got any value of this content, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow. Um, just look down there and see if you're not subscribed. That'd be great. If you aren't, uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll keep producing these videos, and we'll see you on the next one.